Hi, beautiful people. It's your girl, Faye. I'm back, but clearly, I'm back with another reaction video. And uh, in today's episode, I'm here with a comedy. That means it's time for some laughter. Uh, so I'm here with a uh, uh, comedy on uh, Louis C.K. This is on uh, Being Broke. And uh, I'm so, so excited. I can't wait to see what it will unravel. And uh, so I'm hoping that you're going to take this journey with me all the way to the end. And uh, as per usual, I'll be giving my comments at the end. So I'm hoping to see you there. And uh, if this is the kind of content you are interested in, look no further because you're right in the right place. So go ahead right now and smash on that subscribe button down below if uh, you haven't done so already. And uh, be part of this beautiful family. Uh, so before I begin, uh, Louis CK on being broke, I'd love to give a shout out uh, to Jim for sponsoring today's episode. So Jim, uh, thank you so much. And uh, without further ado, let's dig straight into it. Uh, you know the drill. Remember to stick until the end because uh, why not? So let's begin expecting lots of laughter. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, everybody. Uh, hello. <laughs> nice to be here. How are you doing? Good. Good. Fine Good. and dandy. Good here. I, uh, I'm broke. Anybody else broke? Uh, this question comes at a point where the world is facing an economic crisis. So the answer will definitely Everyone is experiencing some type of uh, brokenness, right? Uh, so anyway, just a little bit back. I get to comment on that because uh, this is affecting everything is uh, highly priced. Good, good. Nice to be here. I, uh, I'm broke. Anybody else broke? Uh, huh? You ever get so broke that the bank starts charging you money for not having enough money? <laughs> It's fucking broke, man. <laughs> Bank called me up, they're like, hi, we're calling because you don't have enough money. I'm like, I know. <laughs> She's like, sir, you have insufficient funds. Well, that's a good way to put it, too. I agree with that. <laughs> I find my funds to be grossly insufficient. Wow, grossly insufficient. Thanks for calling. Why are you mad at me? I don't understand what... How is this something I'm doing to you? She's like, sir, you only have $20. That's not enough. You can't only have $20. I'm like, look, I'm not being broke just to fuck with you. I just really don't have any money. I'm not trying to be a dick. I just... My life is shitty. What? So they charged me. They charged me $15. That's how much it costs to only have $20. That's a lot. Here's the fucked up part. Now I only have five. Imagine. What did I pay the $20 to the $15 for if I don't get to have the $20 that I paid to have? I paid the fucking money. Where's my 20 bucks? That's like going to the movies, you pay, buy your ticket, and they go, get the fuck out of here, go home. <laughs> but I pay for the movie. No, you pay for a ticket, motherfucker. You didn't pay for a movie. <laughs> you ever have negative money? That's depressing, isn't it? You look at your bank account, negative $10. That's how much I have now, negative 10. <laughs> that means I don't even have no money now. I wish I did. I wish I didn't have anything. I wish I just had nothing, but I have less than that. I don't have none. I have not 10. I don't... I can't, I'm like... If it's free, I can't fucking afford it. Somebody could come up to me, take this, it's free. Fuck, that costs nothing. I can't afford that. That's more than I have. I gotta raise 10 bucks to be broke. That's where I'm at. That's not good. That's bad. Apparently some of you are in the same fucking position. <laughs> How's your economy doing? Shit. 
No, I'm glad you appreciate that story. Not everybody appreciates that story. I told that story about a week ago in Orange County, California, and all these rich motherfuckers looking at me with their boat tans and their golf shirts and penny loafers. They're all looking at me like, well, yeah. Like, you, you were financially about? irresponsible? You had to pay the price. I don't frankly see what you're angry about. The bank has a right to accrue a fee, clearly. They couldn't relate. That's how different it is to be rich than it is to be poor, because when you're rich, the bank pays you for being rich. If you have a lot of money, they give you money, because you have a lot of money. They say, you have so much money that we should give you some. Because you have a lot, you should have more. Here, take more money. Take this guy's 15, fuck him, you should have it. Wow, I've never thought of it like that. Take this guy's 15, he's broke. He shouldn't have, so have it. Wow, because you have more. So anyway, I hope you're loving the joke. Because uh, it comes at a moment where the world is uh, facing economic uh, crisis, so very timely. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> he doesn't have enough, you have a lot. <laughs> Fine, take it all, you motherfuckers. I don't give a shit. You ever get so broke it just becomes funny to you after a while? You're like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I have no fucking money! Jesus! People call you, hi, we're gonna turn off the... Yeah, fuck it! Turn it off, man! Turn it off! I don't give a shit! When can you make a payment? I ain't paying anything! What am I gonna fucking pay you with? I fucking sold the phone, I don't need it now. Damn it, man. This shit's brutal. I live in New York too, and man, there's, uh, you can't get along with no money in New York. You gotta live in these tiny places. I have this apartment, right? And uh, we have this, okay, here's the toilet, right? I'm on the toilet. This is how small the apartment is. The, the top is right here, like right next to the toilet. Then there's a wall, like right fucking here, like right, there's no, you gotta, you get squeezed in. And here's the worst part, I have to put a foot in the tub to use this toilet because Otherwise, I gotta go like this. Who shits like this with their knees together? I'm pooping. No, you gotta fucking dig in. You gotta get into it. And in order to achieve, to achieve this position, I have to put a foot in the tub. Now try putting a foot in the tub when your pants are at your ankles, you can't, they both want to go, right? So I have to take off the whole pant leg, which means I have to take a shoe off every time I take a shit. Every time. And sometimes that's okay, but a lot of times it fucking isn't okay. Sometimes I didn't plan effectively, and I'm ten blocks from my house, and I've got to shit. You know when you you can't run because you'll bounce it out, so you got to kind of glide, and you're going, come on, god damn it! Then you stop occasionally. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Come on, man. God. Okay, I'm gonna make it. 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 And I always get to this point where like, I'm gonna make it. I'm fucking fine. I'm fine. Mind over matter, I'm gonna make it. And then I see my house. I just see it. And my eyes tell the rest of me, fuck it, man, let go, we're here. There's no need to hold on anymore. We've made it. Because my eyes are fucking retarded, and they don't know the difference between the outside and the inside of my house. So now I got like Olympic seconds to fucking get in my house and open the door to the bathroom. Am I gonna take a fucking shoe off? Are you... I have shit my pants 13 times. <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face with that. All right. You know, that is funny cause uh, I don't know how that happens, but uh, when you are so pressed and uh, you get close to where you are going, let's say your house, like, uh, I think your mind just reads 
I'm home. So the, the pressure gets worse. <laughs> So anyway, so I can relate to that. So I hope you are loving it. It's so hilarious uh, and uh, relatable as well. Just a little bit back so that we don't miss out on anything. And I hope you are loving it. Give it some love. I shit my pants 13 times. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't keep a straight face with that. All right. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Ah, you better leave now. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> anyway. No, no, fine. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. Uh, So anyway, no money. I guess I'm white trash officially. And uh, white trash is a very funny expression to me because it's the only racial expression you could use and no one gets offended. Nobody gives a shit when you say white trash. Nobody gets all quiet like, hey, man, why are you talking like that? That's not cool. <laughs> Nobody defends white trash. You can be talking to the most liberal hippie in the world. You go, hey, I saw this guy, he was white trash. He'll go, ha ha, fuck that guy. White trash piece of shit. Let's laugh at him because he's poor and he's starving to death. Fucking loser. He lives in a trailer because he can't afford a house. Let's go shit right in his face right now. That's why they're funny to us, because they're fucking poor. He wears stupid clothes, because they're fucking free, so he can eat. Ha fucking ha! Man, it's depressing in this country. You ever go, like, you ever drive through whole towns where everybody's life is shit in the whole town? Everybody's just standing in front of their house, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is a weird election too people got weird man i was driving through this town in upstate new york this guy's standing there with a sign that says honk if you love america now i love america but i'm looking at this guy and i'm thinking what the fuck are you doing man this is your day you're gonna stand at this red light with this fucking sign what is wrong with you? And he's looking at me, because he's angry that I haven't honked yet. And now he's trying to intimidate me. He's like, fucking honk, motherfucker! Honk! And then I decide, you know what, I'm not honking. And you know why? Because fuck this guy, that's why. He doesn't get to decide this rule for the whole fucking intersection. Just because he's got a magic marker and no job, now I have to honk? Or otherwise I'm a fucking commie? Fuck him! What if I go up to him with a t-shirt that says, Lick my balls if you love Jesus? Come on, man, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. What are you, a Jew? Lick him! So funny. Imagine if uh, you did that. Crazy, right? Uh, so he's uh, hilarious. That was uh, Louis C.K. on uh, Bing Broke. I hope you loved it. I love the fact that uh, his uh, comedy was uh, relatable, like uh, uh, it's uh, incorporating day-to-day -day life. And uh, yeah, I hope you loved it and you had a good laughter. If you did, please consider to give this video some love. Uh, so I don't have much to say because uh, I talked in between. So you get my thoughts and opinion on it. And uh, it was generally amazing. And uh, I had a good laugh. And uh, I enjoyed because uh, I could uh, relate with uh, what he was talking about. So that made it even more fun. Uh, so that brings us to the end of uh, Being Broke. So I hope you loved it. And before I go, if today is your first time here, I say Karibu. Karibu is Swahili for welcome. And uh, feel right at home. Huh? Don't forget to smash on the subscribe button if you loved this because more is coming your way. And uh, if you'd love to be notified, also consider to click on the notification bell. And uh, by doing that, you won't miss out on any episode going forward. And last but not least, if uh, you'd love to support this channel, you're also welcome to do so. All you need to do is check the description below where you'll find the link to my Patreon community as well as my PayPal address. And uh, you can have guaranteed requests through either platforms as well. So once again, thank you for watching our Penda Sana. Again, Swahili for I love you so much. And uh, Jim, thank you so much for sponsoring today's episode. And I hope you guys had a 
lots of laughter and love this video uh so until next time take care of yourself and be safe and by the way if uh, you are a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back your love and support truly mean the world to me so keep it locked here and i'm out uh so peace out and uh bye